Frank Sherwood. Sherry. Roland June 28, 1927 to March 10, 2012, was an American Nobel laureate and a professor of chemistry at the University of California, Irvine. His research was on atmospheric chemistry and chemical kinetics. His best-known work was the discovery that chlorofluorocarbons contribute to ozone depletion. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Education and early life. Born in Delaware, Ohio, Roland received a majority of his education in public schools and, due to accelerated promotion was able to graduate high school several weeks before his 16th birthday. In the summers during his high school career, Frank was entrusted to run the local weather service station. This was Roland's first exposure to systematic experimentation and data collection. After entering Ohio Wesleyan University, Roland was about to graduate shortly before his 18th birthday. Instead, he was enlisted to the Navy to train radar operators. Roland was discharged after 14 months as a non-commissioned officer. After entering the University of Chicago, Roland was assigned Willard F. Libby as a mentor and began to study radiochemistry. Roland's thesis was about the chemical state of cyclotron-produced radioactive bromine atoms. Roland received his B.A. from Ohio Wesleyan University in 1948. He then earned his M.S. in 1951 and his Ph.D. in 1952, both from the University of Chicago. Topic. Career and research Roland held academic posts at Princeton University 1952 and at the University of Kansas 1956 before becoming a professor of chemistry at the University of California, Irvine, in 1964. At Irvine in the early 1970s he began working with Mario J. Molina. Roland was elected to the National Academy of Sciences in 1978 and served as a president of American Association for the Advancement of Science in 1993. His best known work was the discovery that chlorofluorocarbons contribute to ozone depletion. Roland theorized that man-made organic compound gases combine with solar radiation and decompose in the stratosphere, releasing atoms of chlorine and chlorine monoxide that are individually able to destroy large numbers of ozone molecules. It was obvious that Frank had a good idea of what was occurring at higher altitudes when he stated, I knew that such a molecule could not remain inert in the atmosphere forever, if only because solar photochemistry at high altitudes would break it down. Rowland's research, first published in Nature magazine in 1974, initiated a scientific investigation of the problem. In 1978, a first ban on CFC-based aerosols in spray cans was issued in the United States. The actual production did however not stop and was soon on the old levels. It took till the 1980s to allow for a global regulation policy. Rowland performed many measurements of the atmosphere. One experiment included collecting air samples at various cities and locations around the globe to determine carbon trichloride F north south mixing. By measuring the concentrations at different latitudes, Roland was able to see that carbon trichloride F was mixing between hemispheres quite rapidly. The same measurement was repeated eight years later, and the results showed a steady increase in carbon trichloride F concentrations. Rowland's work also showed how the density of the ozone layer varied by season increasing in November and decreasing until April where it levels out for the summer only to increase in November. Data gained throughout successive years showed that although the pattern was consistent, the overall ozone levels were dropping. Rowland and his colleagues interacted both with the public and the political side and suggested various solutions, which allowed to stepwise reduce the CFC impact. CFC emissions were regulated first within Canada, the United States, Sweden and Norway. In the 1980s, the Vienna Agreement and the Montreal Protocol allowed for global regulation. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Awards and Honors. Roland won numerous awards for his work. Tallman Medal, 1976. Leo Schillard Lectureship Award, 1979. Tyler Prize for Environmental Achievement, 1983 Japan Prize, 1989 Peter Debye Award, 1993 Albert Einstein World Award of Science, 1994 Roger Revelle Medal, 1994 
Nobel Prize in Chemistry, 1995. In 1998, the UC Irvine Physical Sciences Building was named after Roland. A bust of Roland is visible in the lobby. Elected a foreign member of the Royal Society in 2004. Mount Roland in Antarctica was named after him in 2007. Topic. Personal life Frank Rowland was the father of art historian Ingrid Rowland, and Jeff Rowland. He had two granddaughters. After suffering from a short bout of ill health, Rowland died on March 10, 2012, of complications from Parkinson's disease. Upon hearing the news, renowned chemist and good friend Mario J. Molina stated, Sherry was a prime influence throughout my career and had inspired me and many others to walk in the shadow of his greatness. References External links Bibliography Technical reports Radia Chemistra Research, Progress Report, October 1, 1974 to September 30, 1975. University of California, Irvine, United States Department of Energy through predecessor agency the Atomic Energy Commission, 1975. Research in Chemical Kinetics, Progress Report, January 1, 1978 to September 30, 1978. University of California, Irvine, United States Department of Energy, 1978. Research in Chemical Kinetics. Annual Report, 1993. University of California, Irvine, United States Department of Energy, 1993. Research in Chemical Kinetics. Annual Report, 1994. University of California, Irvine, United States Department of Energy, June 1, 1994. Topic: Archival collections. F. Sherwood Rowland Papers. Special Collections and Archives, The UC Irvine Libraries, Irvine, California. Topic: Other. CFCs, Ozone Depletion and Global Warming Freeview Video Interview with F. Sherwood Rowland provided by the Vega Science Trust. Nobel Prize Biography UCI Nobel winner F. Sherwood Sherry Rowland dies at 84 Orange County Ozone Layer Scientist Who Saved the World Dies Guardian Obituary in the Independent by Marcus Williamson Anderson, Stephen O. Gonzalez, Marco 2012. Frank Sherwood Rowland. Physics Today. 65 10. p. 70. doi. 10.1063, pt.3.1759.